All right, uh, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, you know, this is the Brother Basak coming at you again through the Spirit of Paul, Yah, Pashim, Shah, Pashim, Makakodash, the bonus of my apostle to the elders of great wisdom, much love and peace to all the brothers that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. La Bukharium. Okay, um, this is an account in the book of Maccabees. Um, one reason why the Lord has indignation and hatred against the nation of East Edom uh, and a perpetual hatred for them forever is because of the things that they've done, the atrocities they commit, the murder, the rape, the rob, the thieves, theft, and all of the other things they commit. Um, this account is how they attacked us on the Sabbath day, which if you know about Israel, Israelites, we we work six days and on the seventh day we rest because it's in the law. You know that's when the Lord rested from doing His work, so we follow His His laws, His statutes, and His commandments. Um. Now, when Antiochus Epiphanes was king in Greece when he became king under the Seleucid Empire when he became king he was a real persecutor of the Jews you know um, and, the, and this thing among many things that he did you know he basically Hellenized our people forced them to Go after the customs of the heathen, you know, the Greeks. And that's our people are still stuck in that, that state today. They're still Hellenized, you know. But without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. This is First Maccabees 2 and 31. It says, Now when it was told the king's servants and the host that, oh, that was at Jerusalem in the city of David, that certain men who had broken the king's commandment were gone down into the secret places in the wilderness. They pursued after them a great number and have take, uh, overtaken them. They encamped, they encamped against them and made war against them on the Sabbath day. So these devils, they they made war against our people um, when they was at their, um, I'm not going to say their weakest. Well, yeah, when they was at their weakest, when they was on the Sabbath day, when they supposed to be resting, you know, they trying to keep the holy, you know, the holy covenant that their fathers, their, their fathers received. But they couldn't, you know, because Esau, by way of the Antiochus Epiphanes and his armies, they attacked him on the Sabbath day, you know. And this is one of the reasons why Esau will be exterminated. He will be cut off forever. And the scriptures tell you that. Verse 33, and they said unto them, let the, that which ye have done here, here, here too suffice come forth and do according to the commandment of the king and ye shall live. So they was basically trying to get them to yield to the king's commandment and, you know, stop worshiping the Lord and, you know, doing the commandments and all those things of that nature. Verse 34, but they said, we will not come forth, neither will we do the king's commandment to profane the Sabbath day. So they didn't want to do anything because it was the Sabbath day and they was going to make the Sabbath day um, profane. So then they gave them the battle with all speed. So they still made war against them. Howbeit, they answered them not, and neither cast they a stone at them, nor stopped the places where they, they lay hid, but said, Let us die all in our innocency. Heaven and earth will testify for us that ye have put us to death wrongfully. And this is what you expect from Esau. Esau always putting someone to death wrongfully. He judged wrongfully. He murdered wrongfully. You know? Look at all the Jakes that are in jail right now. Majority of them in there are in there wrongfully. You know? And that was a very common thing back in the old days, locking Jake up for no goddamn reason. Because he had that hatred for our people. He had a perpetual hatred. And, you know, and, you know, we supposed to hate these devils too with a perfect hatred, man. Because they hate us. They hate the Lord. They hate everything we stand for. You know, so we got to show that same, you know, we got to show that same energy, man. 
And the Lord hates these damn devils. Let me get that. Book of Malachi. I'm going to make this, you know, lesson too long. This is Malachi chapter 1, verse 2. It says, I have loved you, said Yahweh. Yea, ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said Yahweh? Yet I loved Jacob and hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. So the Lord, you know, way made Esau bear. You know, the Lord laid his heritage waste. You know, something that he was, in, you know, the Lord divided the heritage. He laid it waste, man. Because that's how much he hates Esau. If you look over there in Petra today, it looks like a wasteland. You know, it's all, you know, ain't no life over there, man. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and rebuild the desolate places. Said Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, which the border where border means territory of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation forever. So the Lord has righteous anger towards the nation of Israel forever. And this is more justification in the Lord's extermination of the nation of Edom. And we're not going to miss you. You know, we're not going to sing no flowers or put no flowers on your grave. Verse 38. So they rose up against them in battle on the Sabbath and they slew them with their wives and children and their cattle to the number of a thousand people. Now he killed a thousand people on the Sabbath day. Now, when Menathias and his friends understood hereof, they mourned for them's very right sore. And one of them said to another, If we all do as our brethren have done and fight not for our lives and, law, and laws against the heathen, they will now quickly root us out of the earth. And that's one thing that Esau will do. If he had the opportunity, he will exterminate the nation of Israel. If he had that opportunity. And this was... um. You know, um, what Esau was doing in that time period, trying to exterminate the, uh, the nation of Israel. You know, he was trying to get rid of us because Antiochus had a real hatred. He was a real devil. man. He really hated the Israelites. He really hated the Jews. For what reason? Who knows? <laughs> he, who knows? He might be Esau, <laughs> Jacob's brother, coming back in, in the reincarnation. Who knows who that fucking devil is? He, he just had a pure hatred for um for our people he had a pure hatred man a real hatred for our people he might be the esau esau you know jacob's brother esau you know that's who he might be <laughs> just saying but verse 41 at that time therefore they decreed saying whosoever shall come to make battle with us on the seventh day will fight against him we will fight against him neither will we die all as our brethren that are murdered in the secret places so they was murdered man they was killed unjustifiably, man. And if you have a problem with the Lord exterminating Esau, I'm pretty sure you're going to be next. Um, Let's go to the book of Obadiah. I'm going to read verse 1, then I'm going to jump down. Uh, this is Obadiah 1 and 1. The vision of Obadiah does say the Lord, Yahweh, concerning Edom, because the Lord made a whole book concerning you, Edom, you Edomites. We have heard a rumor from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Now, let's jump down to verse 9. It says, that was just proven that it's talking about Edom, which comes from the Hebrew word Adawam, which means red. Um, it says, verse 9, and thy mighty men, O Teman, as Teman is talking about them Germans, you know, because they, the they were the wise ones of the East. If Esau, they actually created the nuclear missiles, that technology. Um, it says, shall be dismayed to the end, them German scientists, to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. And all little people that are in the family tree of Esau will be cut out. Every limb, every leaf of the family tree, every root, you know, every branch. And Esau's family tree will be cut the fuck off, man. Verse 10. Die for thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Now, we just went over an example of that violence. Attacking us and killing us up to a thousand people on the damn Sabbath day. 
a day that we're supposed to rest. You know? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And nobody's going to miss you, Esau. We're not going to write you a letter or, you know, put some flowers on your grave and say, oh, this is the day that Esau died. We're going to have a fucking party on your ashes, man. You know, we're going to party like we never partied before when your fucking ass is exterminated. You know? You know, so I didn't want to make this lesson too long. I hope it was edifying through the spirit, man. You know, um, as you can see, Esau has a hatred for us. This is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 5. It says, But thou hast had a perpetual hatred and shed, has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. And that's what he did, attacking us on the Sabbath day. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. So blood is going to pursue you, Edomites. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. So it's not going to be nobody in the Mount Esau, Mount Seir. And I will fill his mountains with slain his slain men, and his hills, and his valleys, and all his rivers, thy rivers, shall they fall that are slain with the sword. And I will make thee perpetual desolation, and thy cities shall not return, and ye shall know that I am your house. So let me um, translate that for you, Esau. Uh, that means you're fucked. You know, you're like, like, well, um, like a Issacharite would say, you're fucked, they said, you know. But um, you, 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 the Lord is going to prepare blood into you. You know, blood is going to pursue you. You're going to taste the Deuteronomy's curses, which is going to be given to you in a nice little bow. You're going to taste of that cup. You're going to face slavery. You're going to face the sword. You're going to face extermination. So this is the judgment of Esau, Edom, or Idawan. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises and say, "Call Allah, Yamla, Yahab, Hashem, Al Shabba, Hashem, Al Kakodash." Double honor to my apostle today. There's a great millstone. Much peace and love to all the brothers. Through this word and truth and sincerity. A shalom, Allah, Bukhari.